up guys, Mariam here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's video, I'm testing out something new. I have a very dramatic avant-garde graphic sort of liner look using the new House Laboratories Identify pencil liners. There are 20 new pencil liners that Lady Gaga and House Laboratories came out with. I am going to test them out. I'm going to swatch all of the shades that I have on the swatch model this time. And of course, I'm also going to create this look so that you can copy this look if you love it. I really love it. I feel like it's very empowering and it's just making me feel different, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesday and Sunday videos. Has to be said. And now, Let's get to it. House Laboratories by Lady Gaga. New pencil liners, review, swatches, and a look. Let's hit it. This is the PR package. Super cute. Kind of looks like FaceTime if uh, Lady Gaga was FaceTiming with Lady Gaga. No, but seriously, I saw this from the outside of my window the other day, and I literally was like, is there FaceTime going on in my house? In this very cool cylinder, we have a pencil sharpener, House Labs, and here are the 20 new Identify Gel Pencil Eyeliner Crayon. That is the official name. Basically, this is a gel-like pencil liner. There are 20 shades all together. Here they are in a bundle. I see there's lots of jewel tones, metallic shades, some pops of color shades, a white, a black, a gold, a silver, two gold actually. $18 each and available on houselaboratories.com starting August 4th. Okay, so I just went over all the colors that I have. There are 20 shades all together. I actually have two of the same shade. So I'll give one away to one of you guys. Just comment down below, tell me that you want that statuesque and I'll just pick someone who subscribed to me from my comments and I'll send it to you. And I don't know, maybe I'll be kind and maybe I'll throw in some extra couple goodies. So the one shade that I'm missing is Anti Crows, which is a metallic rose gold, but that's okay. I'll swatch the rest 19 right now. So calling in my swatch model for that swatch model time. Yes, dun 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 dun. Swatching the first shade, which is the matte white, and it is called Aura. I don't see what I'm doing, so straight down, Aura, nice. Or what? Okay. Or not. Sorry. Next shade is a matte pale pink, and it's called Open Wide. Where's the sound effect? Ah. Uh, uh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for the squiggly line, guys. This is really nerve wracking for me. I hate squiggly lines. Next shade is Blade, and it's a silver metallic. Ooh. Next shade is the gold, and it's called Royale. This is kind of like a yellow gold situation. Boom, boom. Next, we have Dazzled which is a darker type of gold. Ooh. Next is Statuesque. That's the one that I have two in. So I will give one away. Statuesque is beautiful, look at that. Next up we have Pride. And Pride is a metallic purple. Some pink sparkles. Pretty. Next we have Denim Rebel. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty. Next we have Empire. This is a beautiful color. It is definitely the color of monies. Next we have Priscilla. And this is a matte, vivid, baby blue. Gorgeous, holy crap. Definitely need to use that one in my look today. Next up, Grime. Matte, vivid green. They're very soft. They're kind of crumbling a little bit. Next we have Hunted. This is a matte forest green. That's why it's called Hunted. It's a nice color. That's a really nice color, holy shizer. Next we have Creep. So I uh, Creep. All right, next color is Mood. This is like a plummy matte purple. Fall apart kind of, you gotta be careful. Yeah, I think it's because of my angle, the way that I'm, uh, okay, you know, yeah, it's yeah. really hard for me to see, so I'm looking in the uh, mirror to keep the lines straight. Gotcha. But because of that, I'm actually pressing a little bit harder than I normally would. The rest of these are all matte. So here we have Burn. This one's a little bit more of a maroony sort of purple, like a reddish purple brown kind of situation. So from this point on, these are all the mattes, and these first two are also matte. And we got four more Lily. We got a dark brown called Go Diva. Oh my, that's a nasty looking. Spot. I know, because you moved. <laughs> you can't blame me. You're old. Next me. we have Sculpture. Sculpture is like a terracotta brown. Next we have the gray street. And last but not least, we have the black, which is called punk, just like the liquid liner. Dun da da da. Done. 
Tan, 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 tan. Peace out. Peace out. Come back, Encore. Ready? Yes, I'm so excited for this. Let's see how well it removes. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. What the heck? Well, the makeup wipe is obviously not gonna be strong enough to remove that. So you're gonna need an actual eye makeup remover. Wow. These are supposed to be long wearing, so there you go. That was a setup. <laughs> All right, so that was that for the swatches. Now I wanted to zoom in a little bit closer and create an eye look with all of these liners. Today, I am really inspired by what's on this PR package. Like I really, really am feeling this super dramatic eye here, kind of into this whole thing. You know, and I want to test out these liners in different ways. I want to see how quickly they set. In other words, I want to see if they are the types of liners that you can actually smudge out and like how quickly do you have to do that. So I want to test out a few colors, create a look and basically just go crazy, you know, just go crazy. What I'm actually going to do is grab this yellow gold Royale. Oh, well that sound. And the first thing that I'm going to do is run that over the center of my lid for a little highlight, if you will. So I'm kind of using that for its sparkle to just create a bit of interest, right? So then let's see if I'm able to spread that. In fact, I am, which is really nice. And it just gives you that really nice kind of shimmery illusion. Do the same thing on the other eye. If you noticed, I didn't prep or prime my lids. From what I gather, these are supposed to be long wearing, waterproof, smudge proof with a quick dry down time. All right. So when they say smudge proof, I'm assuming that that comes after it has a moment to set, but honestly, there isn't too much playing around time. You kind of got to apply it on, smudge it out if you need to. Next, I really love this blue shade called Priscilla. This one was probably my favorite one out of all of them, just because it's such a vibrant, beautiful blue shade. So what I'm going to do is line. Oh, some of it crumbled off because of the way that I was doing the swatches. I was pressing down so hard. I'm going to actually try to be soft with it. So what I'm going to do is line the top lash line kind of heavily. I'm winging that out. I love how opaque it is. I love that there's no separation. It's just one continuous line. Really easy glide. Looks great. So I'm keeping that top line as straight as I possibly can. And then I'm not really so much worried about the bottom because I will add something else to the bottom. I really love creative eyeliner looks. I feel like graphic looks are just my thing. When I first started blogging or when I first started on Instagram, it was kind of like my signature. I would do so many different liner looks. And I remember I was working with brands like Lancome and it would often ask me to create these very dramatic liner looks. Pops them up right here. Has anyone been following me for that long to actually remember those looks? That's looking good. At this point, my pencil has gotten just a little bit dull. So let me utilize this little pencil sharpener. So this is one of those plastic types of pencils, but it is sharpenable. Next thing I want to do is I want to keep my eye open and I want to create a little flick right here. Actually, I'm going to take a little paper towel and I'm going to sharpen just the edge of that to create a point. This is definitely easier to do with a liquid liner, but I feel that the liquid liners can crumble once they set. So it's not as reliable long term. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just flicking it back, kind of just going along the shape of my eye socket. Hmm. All right, so that is looking kind of cute. I don't hate it. But now I want to add a little bit of this pink, which is another matte shade. I want to add that to my inner corner, almost like extending that blue and just like highlighting that there. Also going to go ahead and highlight right here. I don't like that. And then I want to see if I can actually blur that out with one of these little flat brushes just to see what happens. Can this actually act as a brow highlight situation? Well, you really got to go very, very quickly here. As you can see, it's not really budging set fairly quick. And now it's kind of just stuck there like a line, but I don't mind. I think it adds a little something. Just keep that in mind. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so the metallic pencils are probably a little bit easier to blend out just because there's sparkle and there's metallic particles, but the matte formulation dries down quicker. So that's good to know. So I'm gonna grab the silver. This one is called Blade. And I'm gonna use that blade to cut 
right here. It's kind of nice, no? So I met with the inner corner. You know what? I'm also going to kind of blend it out and blend it in with the blue. It's a vibe. I'm going to add a little bit more silver on the top. Just like that. That's fun. Do the same thing on the other side. They're blending actually really nicely into each other and they're layering well too. It's creating something really fun. And I'm all about the fun in makeup. I miss the fun of makeup. Remember the days when makeup used to be fun? Why can't it be fun again? Let's bring it back. Brack. <laughs> For the lower lash line, I'm going to use Denim Rebel. All right, so Denim Rebel on the lower lash line is definitely a vibe, I love that. And I actually think it needs to be on the waterline just so we can test the waterproof power of these liners. Cute, bottom obviously needs to be blended out, but remember it doesn't blend out so easily, so you gotta go quickly. And right now I'm taking my time looking for a brush, so maybe I can't blend it out after all. All right, found a brush. All right, let's try that on the other eye. First on the waterline, then on the lower lash line, kind of just dragging in between the lashes like that. Looks freaky right now, but I'm not gonna say it. Or do I have to say it? All right, I'll say it. You know I'm gonna make it work. I just really like this shade Empire. I wanna add a little bit of Empire to the center of my lower lash line and maybe just add a little more green like that. I don't know. I thought that might be cute. I'm gonna need to get a black liquid liner now. All right, I'm just gonna go for this LA Splash liquid liner that I found here in my drawer. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to line very closely to my lashes, a thin line of black. Mm, I am not loving that liner, girl. It is not opaque enough to cover up that blue. Shoot. But I like that it's super, super, super precise. So it's going to help me etch out those little corners that I like. All right, I'm gonna grab another one. Let's try this DHC, which I think is either a Japanese or a Korean brand. Similar formula, but this one is newer, so it's applying a lot easier. Again, I wouldn't necessarily do this with a pencil liner because I want that super fine edge. Let's test out the black in the shade Punk. What I'm gonna do here is basically connect that liquid liner and the outer portion of my lower lash line just to make everything seamless. And then once again, I'm gonna blend out that black and then re-emphasize one more time. You know, so I was looking at my eye makeup. I really like the way that it's appearing thus far and I kind of just wanna leave it as that. I feel like it's really pretty graphic like I wanted, but it's not, you know, too unwearable. This isn't something that I would necessarily remove before a Zoom meeting. By the way, I have a Zoom meeting in like 30 minutes, so I gotta hurry up with this video. Just adding a little bit more black here so that the shape is a little bit more rounded. I like that little addition. And now I think it's time for some lashes. I'm gonna go for this Casa Zeta Jones by Catherine Zeta Jones mascara. I'm gonna quickly add that to my lower lash line. For sure, I'm gonna need lashes for this look because the liner is so dramatic. We got some Lily lashes. Kind of like Ella's a little bit more than Miami. I know I might be in the minority when I say that, but they're just a little bit more flattering to my Asian eye shape. So I'm gonna go for the Ella's. I like to curl brand new lashes sometimes just because I feel like it gives them a much more worn look. They don't look so stiff and so you know obvious on the eye. I haven't worn false lashes in a bit and I don't really miss them, I'll be honest. Let us glue on this lash. Boom, boom. Now I feel like I need a little bit more on the lower lash line, like maybe a pinch more. Mascara, cute, 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 cute. I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty body highlighter. Whoa, why does it feel like it's loose in there? Holy crap, the highlighter is loose in there. Did you see that? Okay, I'm just gonna add a pinch of that highlighter to the back of my cheek. Kind of just hugging my temple. Pinch on the nose. For the lips, I'm gonna go for Artist Couture La Freak lip gloss. My lips are already lined with some Charlotte T. Mm-hmm, it's a look. And there you have it. Here is my final look using these new House Laboratories Identify Gel Pencil Eyeliners. I used several shades, Denim Rebel, Dazzled, Priscilla, Blade, Open Wide, Punk, and a little bit of Empire. So I used seven shades all together to create this kind of graphic, but still very wearable, and very pretty, distinctive eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Liners is actually one of my favorite makeup medium to work in. I feel like it's very easy, it's very graphic, there's no need to prime, there's no need 
need to dust off if you have any fallout. There is no fallout. And these house laboratories liners are actually really, really great. They're super soft. The glide is easy. The colors are great. Basically, I have no complaints thus far. Yes, I have seen this formula before. And yes, I will see it again. There are tons of pencil liners that have the same formula from Maybelline to L'Oreal to Lancome to a multitude of brands. But Lady Gaga did come up with some cute color combos that perhaps I don't see as often. I'm satisfied and I like these liners. I really like the look that I created and I am ready to go into that Zoom meeting and slay the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. I am going to zoom on out so that you can click on my next two videos because they are right here. I put them there for a reason. So click, click. Bye guys, love you.